Buongiorno a tutti. Hello, my dear friends and art lovers. I'm Natalia Kampchuk and I'm a contemporary artist. Welcome to my channel, Kapchuk Art. Today we are in Venice, this beautiful city with spectacular architecture and breathtaking panoramic views. It is famous for its numerous dodges and royal families that supported the artists and appreciated them. Thanks to its stable political situation and geographic location, which was great for economic growth during the Renaissance period. All these factors supported the appearance of a special Venetian school of painting in the 15th century, which gave us such masters like Canaletti, Bernardo Binotto, Giovanni Battista Piazzetta, and my favorite, Francesca Guardi. In 1895, the International Art Exhibition of the City of Venice took place for the first time. Did you know that the presentation of countries is the main feature of the event? And by the way, the first National Pavilion of Great Britain opened in 1909, followed by France in 1912, and then Russia in 1914. During the 20th century, La Biennale di Venezia has expanded its art section, opened new pavilions and transformed our point of view on contemporary art. Nowadays, Venice Biennale is the major contemporary art exhibition which gives us an opportunity to meet artworks from all over the world. Exposition helps to push cultural boundaries and to unite people like this giant sculptural hands by Lorenzo Quindu. I completely agree with the curators that the city of bridges highlights human values like friendship, wisdom, health, faith, hope, love. <laughs> I'm happy to present my new artworks at the parallel exhibition Anima Mundi alongside with the bright and talented contemporary artists of the Biennale. Here we are and we came to my first international art festival Anima Mundi hosted in Casanindi Palace in Venice and I'm so thrilled to see my artworks on display. What about you? Just follow me into this marvelous art discovery. <laughs> It's a beautiful space and some really amazing artworks are presented here. And the concept behind the festival is Anima Mundi, which according to some historical traditions and cultures, is an intrinsic connection of all human species on the planet, which can be related to our world the same way how our so is connected to the human body. This project is very important to me and it has become the body of my project, The Lost Planet. 
climate change and global warming are the reasons behind the massive melting of a polar region, which has become part of my artistic research. Melting of a polar ice raises the sea level, which has a dramatic impact on wildlife and global temperatures. In my artwork, the Antarctica, I use diamond dust, crystals and glass to show the last glaciers that we have left on our planet and the thin layer of a metal leaf and we can see the ocean which is see-through to show the last very thin layer which remains on the surface. That's my other artwork, Lost in Blue. I wanted to show how our planet used to look like before humans' aggressive usage of natural resources and before industrial revolution. Here I show my commitment to natural materials. I use sand, metal leaf and wood. My dear art lovers, I'm sure you're very curious to see artworks done by my colleagues, other contemporary artists. Let's check it out. First of all, the, um, the entire festival that is called Anima Mundi uh, works on the main concept of uh, uh, the anima that this uh, planet in which we live uh, has and uh, everything connected to our uh, living system, our uh, human bodies and our souls. And uh, we tried the, um, with the artworks that we selected to um, find a way to connect artists from all over the world, talking on the same subject with their research and uh, at the level that they arrived of their consciousness. I think that um, her works uh, um, is uh, the total concept and the total name of our exhibition because uh, our planet and, uh, is explained in her works and um, with the materials and um, the concept that there is inside is completely connected to what um, uh, we are talking about and with our research. In my opinion, there, uh, his wor her works are connected to the three concepts of Anima Mundi Festival. So the rituals that every day we have and we have had in past about uh, our everyday life, uh, the consciousness of what is uh, uh, happening in our world and her vision that will be our next step of what could happen. In my opinion, she's an uh, optimist. Thank you. you enjoyed my small art tour in Venice. The city of water is very sensitive to a sea level rise and I am seriously concerned about the ecological situation here but I believe we can make it better and we can change it together and hopefully with the help of my art we save this beautiful place and its spectacular architecture. Stay tuned Follow my Instagram account, Cupchip Art, and subscribe into my YouTube channel. See you soon!